This new thing on my wrist here is the brand new 42 millimeter Huawei watch GT2. I've been testing this out and in this video I'm gonna share with you the fitness tracker that doesn't compromise on aesthetics. You're watching me, I'm Kwan, here on M Kwan Reviews. So the Huawei Watch GT2 comes in one of two sizes that you can go for. This particular size is the 42 millimeter. If you want something which is wider, you can opt to go with the 46 millimeter. But for reference, my wrist is just over six and a half inches and it fits incredibly comfortably on my wrist. That's down to two reasons. Number one are the lugs, which are the ends that stick out from the watch. They're tapered, so it gives a much more compact feel on the wrist. As well as that, check that profile out there. It's got an incredibly slim profile and that's despite all the tech that's packed in here. Now we'll talk about the tech in a moment. But the other thing is the display. It's got a round display. It's a 1.2 inch AMOLED display and that display is special for a number of reasons. To begin with, the design gives you a minimal design with a bezel-less vision. And one of the things that you'll notice is that full screen with a borderless design. It, it basically looks like an all-in-one 3D glass surface and that gives you a much wider look and feel. Now, the other thing is that display works pretty well in sunlight or very sunny conditions, particularly here in the Middle East. So if you're out and about, you should have no problems with viewing that display. The Huawei Watch GT2 is powered by Huawei's very own Kirin A1 chipset and that includes some intelligent power saving technology. Now that power saving technology has its advantages because on something like the 42 millimeter, in terms of battery life, on a full single charge, you're going to get between five and seven days worth of battery life, which is pretty incredible. And that is depending on usage, how much you use it, and also on that display, what you've got running on that display and how bright it is. Now on the back, you'll notice that there are three different sensors. So you have a true scene sensor for the heart rate monitoring, true relax, which is for the stress levels. And you can set this up. There is a short questionnaire that helps set it up and then we'll monitor your stress throughout the day. And then finally, a true sleep sensor for sleep monitoring. Internally, it's got two gigabytes of RAM and four gigabytes of storage, out of which you're going to get about 2.2 gigabytes of usable space. And that's enough to hold around about 500 songs. Now, as far as the operating system or the software used on the Huawei Watch GT2, it essentially runs on Huawei's own light OS, which is really easy and practical to use. You essentially have a carousel, and on that carousel, you see vital information like your BPM, as well as a quick glance for your movement, your calories, and how much exercise you've done on that particular day. Now, as well as that, if you swipe up, you can see your notifications. So on mine, I have my notifications set up for email, um, you won't be able to interact with the notifications from the watch itself. You'll have to use your smartphone for that. Now, if you swipe up from the top, you'll see more settings. So this is the information that you can customize uh, for your particular usage. As well as that, the display. The display will give you further customizational options for the display to your liking. So adjusting the brightness, for example, or if you want to have an always on display that has the time either in analog or digital, all of that can be done from the settings over there. So you have 15 different workout modes, including elliptical, rowing, and swimming uh, available on the Huawei Watch GT2. Incidentally, the water rating on this is 5 ATM or 50 meters, which means that you can get this wet or you can take it out and about if you want to go swimming. The Huawei Watch GT2 can connect with both iOS and Android. Some data like heart rate, stress, current progress and active minutes and exercise can actually be viewed directly on the watch. However, if you want uh, more information or for more details, the Huawei Watch GT2 will need the Huawei Health app and that can be downloaded or it comes pre-installed on current Huawei smartphones like this. 
the Huawei P30 Pro, the ultimate flagship smartphone with an unmatchable camera. And now this is available in two new colors, the Mystic Blue or the Misty Lavender. Um, this will keep all the records in the Huawei Health app so you can see them for more reference if you need. Now, if you decide you don't want to carry your smartphone around with you, then the Huawei Watch GT2 will pair up with something like the FreeBuds 3 to offer you music playback. Now, I've done a separate review on the Huawei FreeBuds 3 on the channel, so if you wanna check that out, you can see a video at the end of this particular video. But the FreeBuds 3 are essentially the only open fit active noise cancellation earphones that sit comfortably even during long-term use. So essentially, you'll have a pair and that is your Huawei Watch GT2 with the FreeBuds 3, and you can use that if you wanna go out and about without having to worry about carrying your smartphone around with you. So in summary, who is the Huawei Watch GT2 aiming at? Well, I think it's aiming at anyone who is looking for a fitness tracker that doesn't look like a typical fitness tracker, one that has the aesthetics of a high-end smartwatch. And if you look at the market today, we have a lot of fitness trackers that have either issues with battery life, so you might need to charge them every couple of days, whereas with the Huawei Watch GT2, that isn't going to be an issue. Plus, a lot of the fitness trackers currently on the market look like typical fitness trackers, whereas the Huawei Watch GT2 I think does a good job in terms of function, but also in form and design. Now, this is probably the best time to pick one of these up because we have, in this part of the world, DSF right around the corner. So you can pick one of these up for the price of 750 dirhams. You can head on down to your local Huawei experience store where you'll be able to try these out before you buy. And if you want to pick up one of the newer Huawei P30 Pros in an eight gigabyte version with 128 gigabytes of storage, those available in those new colors, Mystic Blue or Misty Lavender, then you can pick those up for 2,299 dirhams for DSF. There'll be more information down in the description bar below. If you're new around here, be sure to smash that like button down below and hit subscribe to see more video content like this here on the channel and until next time you've been watching me mquan here on mquan reviews peace and blessings